So you're running Windows 11 and you want to change your default web browser to something other than Microsoft Edge. It's not easy currently. Stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to do it. Hey everybody, Mike here with IT Pro TV and today I'm going to show you how to set your default browser in Windows 11. Now before we get started, make sure you click on that subscribe link down below and that bell icon so you can get notified when we release new content. All right, so you're running Windows 11 and you want to change that default browser. And I'll be honest with you, it's not as straightforward as it probably should be. And I'll be honest here and I'll say it's probably not as straightforward as it will be in the future. Remember, this is a beta operating system currently. Not everything has been finalized. They're making improvements to it every day. So I see this as something that maybe they haven't got around to yet. And I'm hoping that they'll fix. We'll give Microsoft the benefit of the doubt. But in the meantime, you can still change your default browser. It just takes a couple more clicks. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, so here I am on my Windows 11 box. And the first thing I wanna do is verify what browser is gonna open up by default. And I think you know what that's going to be. I'm gonna open up File Explorer. I know an odd place to type in a URL. But this is a great way to test, hey, what are you gonna do with it, Windows 11? What happens when I type in a URL without telling you what I wanna to use to open it? And sure enough, it opens it up with Microsoft Edge, which we could probably assume was going to be the default, right? So I'm going to close that, and we're going to change that. Now, we can change the default browser, but I'll tell you, it's going to take a couple more clicks than it normally would or that it has in the past. I expect that to change. Keep in mind, this is a beta version of the operating system, uh, and hopefully they'll have this fixed when the actual version rolls out later this year. But let's see how we can fix that default browser now. I'm going to open up Google Chrome because Google Chrome is actually pretty good about detecting that it's not the default browser and asking you to set it as the default browser. And in past versions of the operating system, that's all I would have to do. Click that button and we were good to go. Our, our browser would now be set to Google Chrome by default. Not the case in Windows 11. Notice it opened up my settings and this is where I need to go to change that default, but it didn't actually change anything. And this, again, is probably going to be fixed. Hopefully, we'll give Microsoft the benefit of the doubt when the uh, later version or the final release comes out for Windows 11. But that doesn't do us any good now. How do we fix it right now? All right, well, here's what you do. I'm going to close that browser for just a second, kind of clean things up. And I'm going to close my settings because your browser that you're installing might not have that handy button that says change set as default and open up the settings for you. So how do I get there? We're going to go to our Start menu. And then to our settings icon, that little gear icon right over there. And underneath settings, we're going to go to our navigation tree and we're going to click on apps. And underneath apps, we're going to be working with our default applications. So if I click on default apps, that takes me right back to where we were using that button inside Google Chrome. Now in the past, in other versions of Windows, here's where we'd see a list of like activities like mail and photos and web, and we could select that and set what application we wanted to use as our default. That's missing here in Windows 11. I'm hoping they're gonna add that back. We'll have to wait and see, but it doesn't mean we can't change the default now. We can, just a couple more clicks. So what I want you to do is scroll down and find the web browser that you would like to set as the default. So you do need to install the browser first, then you can set it as the default. So I'm gonna select Google Chrome. And what you're presented with is a list of all the different extensions, file extensions, that a web browser or Google Chrome can be used to open. I can see things like HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, uh, uh, what else, HTML, PDF, HTM, right? These are all extensions that we can use Google Chrome to open. But currently, Microsoft Edge is listed as the default, right? To change it, we simply select one of the extensions and then pick the application we would like to set, in this case, Google Chrome, as the default and click OK. All right. Now, it might or might not warn you. The first time you do this, Microsoft is going to want you to try Microsoft Edge. They think it's a pretty good browser. And it's going to say, hey, look, are you sure you want to switch your default? You simply say yes, change anyway, and then it won't prompt you again. It's just that one time. Now, here's the tedious part about it. I need to change each one of these individually. So I need to decide, do I want to use Edge or Chrome 
to open up PDFs? Do I want to use Edge or Chrome to open up secure HTML or SHTML? And so you can set them all to Chrome, or maybe you want some of them to open up in Chrome and some of them to open up in Microsoft Edge. I'm going to go ahead and change them all one at a time. And again, this is the part that, that takes a second and that I'm hoping that they fix, right? It really shouldn't be this tedious to change my default browser. It should be one click and then we we're off and we're done. It should change everything all at once. But not too bad, right? I just had took a minute and kind of scrolled through all those options. And now I've told it, hey, I want to use Google Chrome as my default browser for all of these different extensions, right? And you can definitely mix and match. Like you might have something else that you want to open up uh, PDFs with. Maybe Foxit or Adobe Acrobat. You can always, if you have other applications, they'll show up in this list. Pick the one you want. All right, now that we've set that as the default, let's test it out. I'm going to go ahead and close my settings. I'm going to go back over to File Explorer. Again, throw it a URL in some random place in the operating system, and let's see what Windows 11 does. ITPro.tv. And look at there. We are in Google Chrome uh, by default now. So it'll open up Google Chrome anytime I click on a link or anything like that, and I open up something with one of those extensions. So that's how you're going to be able to change that default browser in Windows 11. It's a little bit clunky, right? It's a, there's a few extra clicks involved to get it done, but you can. You can definitely change your default browser and hopefully fix that in upcoming versions of Windows 11. So I hope you enjoyed this content. Stay tuned for more Windows 11 content coming soon.